Alert, Federal Agents Raid 98 7 Eleven Stores Nationwide, many had one shocking thing inside. Owners and employees of 98 different 7 Eleven stores across the country weren't having a good day after Federal Agents stormed each location. Unfortunately, things would only get worse from there as 21 people were arrested after officials learned of the one shocking thing many of the shops had inside. The entire ordeal actually began about four years ago when federal agents started looking into the records of 7-Eleven convenience stores across the country. Seeing how the administration of former President Barack Obama wasn't tough on crime, though, nothing really ever came of the investigation. Too bad for those who skirted the law for almost half a decade, their time just came to an end, and they have President Donald Trump to thank for it. Since Trump has unshackled immigration enforcement agencies like ICE and DHS, illegal aliens are having a harder time remaining in this country undetected. In fact, that was proven to be the case after what ICE did yesterday morning. According to BizPack Review, agents were dispatched to 98 separate 7-Eleven stores across the country in order to verify whether employees hired by the company are legally allowed to work in America. Although the significant raid was a shock to many people, it may not have been for the owners of 7-Eleven stores. Come to find out, ICE did send out notices of inspection, noise, to locations in Washington, D.C., California, Colorado, Delaware, Florida, Illinois, Indiana, Maryland, Michigan, Missouri, Nevada, New Jersey, New York, North Carolina, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Washington. Despite this reality, it seems that owners and employees didn't care, considering that they had been able to operate outside the bounds of the law during the Obama administration. Too bad for them, that's not the case anymore, and 21 arrests were made during the raids, although there may be more to come. As for other employers who are employing illegal aliens, it may be time to change things up as ICE officials are calling the operation a harbinger of what's to come. Further explaining that they are now free to enforce the law, immigration enforcement agencies have been effectively directed to seek out employers who are knowingly hiring illegal immigrants and discriminating against American workers. This is what we're gearing up for this year and what you're going to see more and more of is these large-scale compliance inspections, just for starters, Derek Binner, a top ICE official, told the Associated Press. From there, we will look at whether these cases warrant an administrative posture or criminal investigation. As one would imagine, those who have been able to get away with the illegal practice for so long aren't too happy as they've become accustomed to paying the illegal employees a lower wage. Sadly, neither former Presidents George W. Bush nor Barack Obama were tough on this sort of thing. On the contrary, Trump wants to make sure that Americans have the best possible chance of getting themselves a job, and that starts by making sure those who aren't eligible for our jobs aren't taking them. Even better yet, Trump is ready to punish those who have selfishly spit in the face of hard-working Americans, and that's just what's about to happen. In fact, ICE Acting Director Thomas Holman directed immigration agents to spend four to five times more time on illegal hiring investigations in order to crack down on employers and unauthorized workers. The time for crime is coming to an end. With President Donald Trump in office, things like accountability and responsibility are once again being mandated. Break the law, and you will pay for it, and Trump will personally put a boot on your butt when it comes to getting what you deserve. Earth.